Welcome back to my mini camper teardrop build series and I think this is going to be build video number 11 and in this one I've got to finish the uh, front shelf slash cabinet and I've got the face panel that's going to go right here cut out and what I've got to do is cut my little pockets and cut a little uh, area to put some switches in another little pocket to make some cutting holes. So I'll be making that today. So uh, I've got my piece uh, on the workbench there and I'm ready to go ahead and uh, start measuring and cutting. So let's go ahead and get that measured and cut and in place and see what it looks like. Okay, I've got it uh, dry fitted out and uh, I think that's gonna work fine. Uh, my next step is go ahead and uh, drill some holes in the side here so I can fasten from the outside to the inside on both sides. Uh, put some glue around there and uh, also I'll be uh, measuring uh, maybe three eighths of an inch from the bottom here on the face and uh, tacking in with some uh, staples in the front bottom in there, and then I'll go ahead and put those dividers in. So next step, let me go ahead and drill these holes in, get everything mounted up uh, and glued and screwed on the side, and then we'll start putting those spacers in. I got my front panel glued and screwed in and stapled in. And now what I'm gonna do is work on these dividers and divide up the two cubby holes with the central part where I'm gonna put my switches and my, my electronics. So let's go ahead and uh, mount those spacers.
Okay, I got my uh, spacers in, two cubby holes, and also this is gonna be my uh, electronic switch and power connectors here uh, to control everything. So uh, next what I'm going to do is put some uh, support beams on top here in the middle that's curved at the correct angle uh, just for some support and also to put the ceiling on when I wrap it around. And I'll also do some trim on the inside bottom and then I'll get it varnished and then I think I'll be done. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, I got my front and interior uh, shelf uh, built, stained, finished. I uh, hadn't stained everything inside yet, but I will. Uh, the next step for me is to put my sides on. Remember back in an earlier build video, I had a quarter inch sides uh, also cut out to shape. So I'm gonna put that on, glue and screw that. Well, I'll actually glue it and uh, tack that on and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut the door out and put poor man's fiberglass on that. So I'm gonna to try to get those sides on and maybe even some poor man's fiberglass on that in this video, but we'll see. So let's go ahead and get this side put on. Okay, now that I've got my quarter inch uh, plywood sides on both sides and my door cut out, uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, get the canvas ready to put on the sides with my uh, PMF or poor man's fiberglass that I'm gonna put on. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, the canvas itself is uh, wrapped up and it's got some wrinkles in it. So I'm gonna uh, iron that off first. So. Let's go ahead and iron the canvas and then uh, we'll start uh, putting that canvas on and I'll make our poor man's fiberglass.
Okay, I've got my PMF on both sides of my camper now. Right there, I think it turned out pretty good. I uh, gave it uh, two coats of the Type Bond 2 on the outside. And uh, the next step is to go ahead and sand it and then start with my painting. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting before I put the doors in. And I'm also just gonna leave the canvas over the doorway. That way when I paint, you know, if I don't have to put, you know, cloths down or anything else down. So I'm gonna paint it and then trim uh, the canvas on the bottom and the top and the side. So uh, let me go ahead and start painting. We're gonna do some primer and then I'm gonna do two coats of regular paint. Okay, I've got this wall and the other wall painted, and uh, I think it's called Vessel Gray, the color. And uh, before I cut the canvas out of the doorways to mount my doors, I'm gonna go ahead and stain the walls on the inside. I'm gonna leave the floor till uh, close to the last of the bill because I'll be in and out doing a lot of other th different things. So uh, let's go ahead and varnish the uh, inside and uh, get that done. Okay, I got the, of course I got the outsides painted. I got the inside walls varnished. I hadn't done the floor yet. Like I said, I'll do the floor when I do the ceiling. Um, I just put my tongue box on and just weighed it. So my tongue weight right now is a little over, it's about 31 pounds, which is excellent. Um, that's that side. Here is this side. And uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.